This is the Extreme Gravity Pursuit drone from Swan. It is a mid-sized drone. Doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles of some of the more expensive drones that you might see filming movies or TV commercials. But this is a great way to figure out if you want to get into drone flying without spending a whole lot of money. It has a 1080p HD video camera that is powered by the battery inside the helicopter. The Gravity Pursuit is a large enough drone to where you have to register it with the FAA. So you go online, you pay your $5, and they give you a number. The video we shot from the drone's camera was actually taken indoors in the lobby of the TXCN building. Video shot inside with a hobby drone is fair game to use online. Videos shot outside are under the FAA purview and are limited in their use. The camera doesn't have a gimbal, which is the arm that keeps the camera steady. The Extreme Gravity Pursuit has an MSRP of $299, but just be aware that you can find it a lot cheaper. I was shopping at Fry's the other day and saw it for $179. My drone experience is limited to very small drones. If you remember a couple of months back, I did an Axis drone that was basically the size of a silver dollar. This is a much bigger drone and it's much more stable in the air. I, I found it much easier to fly, even though it doesn't have GPS and some of the other um, advantages of the larger drones. The Gravity Pursuit has a range of between 70 and 100 yards with the controller that I have. But for the most part, you just want to keep it to where you can see it. Because this is not a first person drone, meaning I can't see the video that's being shot. So I'm just flying this by sight. <laughs> 